I was mostly, I was smart. I've always been smart my whole life from kindergarten all the way till me graduating now. But I just didn't have the best attitude usually. I had a, I was always quick tempered. I was getting in trouble a lot, getting sent to ISS. Wesley Carter came to Hope Academy in fifth grade. I wasn't doing the best that I could do. And that's what going to Hope did for me. It made me use my full potential. They take the worry off of, you know, um, a parent worrying about their child, they handle business. You know, they don't just reach out every time a child, you know, does something wrong. The school started as a tutoring program run by a pastor and his wife when they moved to Greensboro's Glenwood community. When I said, I think I need to help, they said, yeah, we know we've been praying about you for a long time. We were waiting for you to get it. <laughs> and the program grew from three students to 80. Founding executive director Regina Clark says as they tracked achievement, they found the needle was moving in the wrong direction. And we just said, that's not acceptable. <laughs> so you go, okay, Lord, you've given us this information. What do you want us to do with it? We can't not do anything. We have to do something. So what are you asking us to do? Are you asking us to start a school? And the answer was yes. They leased space from Florida Street Baptist Church until the church donated the property in 2016. Clark says their goal is to make sure the students know they are capable, that they have a lot to give the world, and to give them the skills to do it. Like these young men and women who take care of the landscaping. They are all Hope alumni. When you really dig in and get to know uh, students and the things that they're dealing with, the things that they're struggling with, uh, the places where their needs are, then your heart continues to grow for them. Head of school Josh Mullen says they take a hands-on approach. Holding them accountable for showing up for school, uh, sometimes going to get them, sometimes standing in their living room and calling down the hallway and telling them to come to school. Three of the seven teachers are black men. Adam Hubert is one of them. I think that Ability to see someone that looks like you has had common experiences means so much. I even think about my own public school upbringing, and I mean, I can count on one hand uh, the black male teachers I had. And so to be able to give what I didn't have to students, um, I think is just a blessing. Almost all the students are black or Latino and come from low income homes. Hope is a private faith-based school. Families pay what they can and 90% of the school's funding comes from people of all races from all over Greensboro. Many of the donors had never been to Glenwood until they came to see the school. They have exceeded, you know, the, um, the stereotype that white people don't love black kids or, you know, minority children because it doesn't exist there. And, and that's one thing that I always paid attention to, I always paid attention to is how much these, <laughs> these teachers that are white care about these children.